So what made you, like, what's the why? I mean, like, why do you want to help them out? Why cancer? Why kids have cancer? We see a lot of potential in them, you know? You see a lot of potential in them, like, okay. we met a few kids before. Mm -hmm. They're very talented. They're mm -hmm. very full of uh, motivation drive. Mereka mau jadi seorang yang hebat. Mereka mm. punya mampu dan kemampuan dan impian yang, yang begitu hebat. Jadi kita gak mau uh, penyakit atau apa uh, hentikan mereka untuk chasing their oh, dreams. Oh, jadi kamu dan teman-teman kamu itu ingin membantu mereka untuk bisa mereka mencapai cita-citanya, mencapai impiannya gitu dan jangan uh, apa penyakit ini justru menghalangi itu gitu ya. Hai, selamat datang di YouTube channelnya Yayasan Kanker Anak Indonesia. Ketemu lagi di podcast saya hebat dan saya Arleta Danisoro. Seperti biasa, saya akan menjadi hostnya dan saya akan ngobrol-ngobrol dengan mereka-mereka orang-orang hebat yang selalu mendukung YKAI untuk mengembalikan senyum sehat anak Indonesia. Nah, pada hari ini saya kehadiran dua orang tamu yang masih muda-muda. Masih anak-anak lebih tepatnya. Dan mereka ini tergabung dalam sebuah kelompok namanya Neighbors Jakarta. Apa itu Neighbors Jakarta? Apa saja yang sudah mereka lakukan? Sudah hadir dua orang di sini, yaitu Tedra and Kenneth. Halo, apa kabar kalian berdua? Baik. Bye. <laughs> Baik, ngomongnya ini agak-agak susah dan dan karena mereka ini terbiasa berbicara pakai bahasa Inggris, mereka bilang, "Tante, aku uh, maunya ngomong pakai bahasa Inggris aja, apa-apa enggak? Enggak apa-apa." gitu ya, karena mereka ini dari <laughs> international schools. So, where do you guys go to school? SPH Kemang Village. SPH Kemang Village and what grade are you in? We're both in 10th grade. Oh, jadi mereka baru kelas 10 loh. Mereka baru kelas 10 and you guys have a group. Actually it's it's, it's three of you, right? We have kita lebih banyak members sekarang. Oh, members. Jadi how many members do you have, Kenneth? We have 12 in total. You have 12 in total. Oke. Okay. Ini supaya Kenneth suaranya lebih bagus aku putar sedikit segini. Jadi also you have 12 members. Tapi uh, who founded actually? I founded the group. Oh, you founded the group. Okay, so how did you found this group? I mean, what happened? So tell me the story. Um, so back in November of 2020, um, us and like a small group of friends wanted to make a group to help um, the children at Yekai and to help like raise funds mm -hmm. for their treatment and like education and just to get to know them better because um, we're like around their age group and we yeah. thought we'd be able to get to know them on a more personal level. Mm -hmm. So what made you, like, what's the why? I mean, like, why do you want to help them out? Why cancer? Why kids have cancer? We see a lot of potential in them, you know? You see a lot of potential in them, like okay. we met a few kids before. Mm -hmm. They're very talented. They're mm -hmm. very full of uh, motivation drive. Mereka mau jadi seorang yang hebat. Mereka mm. punya mampu dan kemampuan dan impian yang yang begitu hebat. Jadi kita gak mau uh, penyakit atau apa uh, hentikan mereka untuk chasing their oh, dreams. Jadi kamu dan teman-teman kamu itu ingin membantu mereka untuk bisa mereka mencapai cita-citanya, mencapai impiannya gitu dan jangan uh, apa penyakit ini justru menghalangi itu gitu ya. Nah, terus tadi you mentioned that you have met them. Gitu. How how did you meet these kids? Um so since our group started during the pandemic and during quarantine, we haven't like we've only met them face to face just today, like mm. a few of the kids. Mm -hmm. Um but Yesterday, actually, we met a few of them on Zoom and they got to show us like some of their talents and what they're interested in. And it was like really nice to get to know them. Mm -hmm. One of the kids yesterday actually sang for us. She had an amazing voice. Mm. And yeah, she just the confidence to sing 
online mm -hmm. and she she sang really well and i think mm. that's what inspires us mm. we see these talents and then we just want them to aim for greatness and mm. to achieve as much as they can Mm, okay, so you've met a few of them, and you were all by them, gitu ya. And I saw on your Instagram, mereka juga punya Instagram neighbors Jakarta ya. Mm -hmm. Okay, neighbors Jakarta. Jadi silahkan kalau misalnya mau di follow sama sahabat YKI untuk membantu support kegiatan-kegiatan mereka. Now, in one of your content, one of the feed, you said is like why we do it, and then what we do, and who we are. There's a content on that, and if I have not mistaken reading it, it says that uh, why you do it is because you feel like this is the purpose of you guys serving others. To be honest, to know what somebody's purpose in life is usually takes time and very hard, but you guys found it at a very such early age. So how did you know that that was your purpose? It was... Like, you know, a gut feeling. Mm. It was a gut feeling like that you felt. Intuition, you know. Mm -hmm, Sometimes mm -hmm. things like this happen out of the blue when mm -hmm. you least expected it. Opportunity strike and you just have to take it. Mm. But when you felt that um, this was your purpose, you know, the group that you made, um, was there like something that triggered it? Was it something you saw, you read? Or was it something that you saw in, in the movies or or what? Or was there anything that maybe you remember? I personally, like mm -hmm. I said before, have a passion for people being... I love seeing kids or just people nowadays being driven and motivated. Mm -hmm. I love that so much mm -hmm. because it just shows that They want to achieve more. They want to achieve greatness. They mm. want to do something in this world. And stuff like that mm. inspires me, like I said. So you 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 got all fired up yeah, by, <laughs> by, by looking at those kids, especially at your age. But talking about what they're doing. So um, what about you yourself, both of you? What are your dreams? I know that one of them is helping other people, serving other people. But um, what's your big dream? Is this, is this this that you want to continue forward or is there anything else? Um, we definitely hope like that for this group, we can continue it even after we graduate and like mm -hmm. people younger than us will continue to be like inspired mm -hmm. to help the kids at Yakai. Mm -hmm. We want to build something that's greater than just a school mm -hmm. program. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Now this, you said this is a school program. Was this like... Uh, a task from school or 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 was it just personally not you guys? necessarily a task okay. so um like our school has this like msl program where people can start their like groups where they can like help different people in need like there's people helping the elderly people who are like raising funds for clean water and feminine hygiene. And we are not like given the task to make a group, but like we are given like the option to do it. And we decided that we wanted to help kids with cancer, like out of our own choice. Oh, okay. So this is not one of those cool projects that you had to do. No. Okay. So you mentioned MSL. What is MSL? MSL stands for Mission Service Learning. So mm. when the kids reach high school, mm -hmm. they're required to be a part of the group because our school believes in helping other people too. Mm. We stand on the values of um, love and compassion and all that. And so our school believes that we need these kids to be out there in the fields, mm. uh, helping people, seeing the daily struggles of people so they can empathize better with these people right i see i see well that's a good thing that you have uh, in your in your school okay now you said that um uh, tred uh tedra that you found this um neighbors jakarta and now there is a member of 12 people so how did you recruit them all um so we started out with like a group of six people i think And then um, 
like we I don't really know how to explain it it was just like it just happened and then it's just like a snowball and then it got bigger and bigger I guess so so you so you didn't really like you know like recruit them hey you know I got this you want to join not that kind of stuff I think in a way mm-hmm. because of what we did last year mm-hmm. which I'll talk about later we and ins- what we did our project was very successful mm-hmm. and I think that showed people that RMSL can be a huge hit mm-hmm. I think that's what w- made people want to join our MSL because we've proven ourselves to people that we have a goal and we can make it happen we made it happen last year we did join a box we got 200 Christmas gifts for kids we can do it again this year and people believe in us okay now talking about the project that we did last year and it was a big hit now tell us what was the project so when we started our group last year it was around like november and december Mm -hmm. and like we wanted to start off with this like christmas event where we could give other people the opportunity to buy gifts for the kids because we wanted to be able to like spread joy to them and um like to see them smile from like small gifts and to let them know that other people are thinking about them and when we opened um, signups, we got like a lot of people interested in our event, and we like got over two hundred, like around two hundred Christmas gifts for the kids. Mm, okay, and that was um, not just from your friends, but mm-hmm. also from outsiders. Oh, that's great. Jadi tahun lalu mereka ini membuka project untuk bisa menyumbangkan kado untuk anak-anak, dan ternyata berhasil ada sekitar dua ratus. Orang gitu ya, atau 200 kado yang bisa akhirnya mereka kirimkan untuk anak-anak ini gitu ya. And that was your first project. And after that, what uh, I I saw that you had bake sale and mm-hmm. also you sold drinks. Was that after the the gift project? Yeah, that was like um, once we started like our MSL program with the school, we decided to raise funds for. Um, three kids education we decided we were raising money for um, Buspa, Kera, and Shakri and um, we we did like a bake sale to help raise money for their education mm-hmm. who baked? <laughs> <laughs> we did had you a, bake? <laughs> uh, a friend's mom she makes amazing cakes oh, and, okay. babkas, and then there they had like cute little decorations on them mm-hmm. and, I see I yeah. see Okay, so I thought you guys baked them. <laughs> I thought you guys made like a small shop or something. All right, all right. So continue. Uh, and so after the bake sale, and then um, you had a fundraising through this bake sale. Is it mm-hmm. is it an ongoing thing or is just a, a project which has a, a limited time purchase order? or? Um, that bake sale was limited, but like in the years to come, we can, we plan to like, keep having more fundraisers to Mm -hmm. support like more kids education okay okay that's great so bake sale and then um gifts for the kids and what else have you guys done since our group like just started we weren't able to do like a lot so far so like our main big events were the christmas gifting and like the bake sale Mm -hmm. but We've been trying to like educate ourselves on like, um, like cancer and um, we also I think last year we wanted to write letters to the kids we were raising money for for their education to let them know that we're like there for them and that we're supporting them. Also, mm. just to go off that Pedro's point for our Christmas, we didn't just want to do like donors and then give a gift yeah, yeah. we not, also not not a hit and run thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. since our goal is to show the kids that they're cared for right mm-hmm. we required the donors to write nice cards to them personal mm-hmm. cards encouraging okay. cards because we think that if we make it more personal mm-hmm. it's gonna have a greater impact on their life rather that's than, a good idea here's a gift mm. yeah. <laughs> that's a good idea yeah and what I'm sure that you read some of them. Mm-hmm. So, which letter that was very, I don't know, that had an impact on you? What did it say? 
Was there any? I'm sure you read them. I can't really remember them off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. But there were, like, a bunch of sweet notes, and it, like, made me really happy to see that other Mm -hmm. people cared a lot about Mm -hmm. what we're working towards. Okay. But you know what? When you're helping other people, it just... It just doesn't make them happy, but it also make yourself happy. So I just curious and wanted to know, um, how does this project that you guys have been doing with Neighbors Jakarta, what impact does it have on you and your friends? I think like you mentioned before about purpose, it gives us a purpose Mm -hmm. in a way because it's a... It's something that we can go back on when we're struggling. We need something uh, to inspire us. We can go back on, oh, you know, we're important too. We've helped make an impact on these kids and these kids help make an impact on us by showing mm-hmm. us just um, our purpose. You know? mm. What about you? What is impact does it have on you personally? I personally just like, I've always grown up loving to help kids and like it makes me help happy to see them happy Mm -hmm. i've always been like that type of person who likes helping like people around my age or people younger than me and i just love seeing them be happy and grow Mm. usually when um when you have this very huge um um, empathy for others or, or or you have the soul for social work Usually it's because of the parents or maybe you were inspired by something. What about you both? Who were you inspired by or were this taught by your parents? I wouldn't say it was taught by my parents. I feel Mm -hmm. like we're both quite driven people. Mm -hmm. As in, our parents just support whatever uh, Mm -hmm. project we initiate. I wasn't, again, I was just inspired by just thinking in my head visualizing these kids being successful in the future like can you just imagine and then just imagine their potential being wasted just Mm. because of cancer like Mm -hmm. that's i feel like that's unfair and what inspires me is i can't wait to see the people that they grow up to be in the Mm -hmm. future Mm. and these kids are about your age Mm -hmm. yeah and so you've met them today yeah so how do you feel <laughs> after meeting them in person? They were, I I felt, I didn't know that they were this talented. Mm-hmm. The three people we met downstairs, one of them was a dancer. Mm-hmm. She wanted to become an idol. Mm-hmm. She showed us a video of her dancing. Mm-hmm. And then she's already working towards her dream mm-hmm. at the same age as us. Mm-hmm. I think that's really inspiring. I think that can inspire a lot of people too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just seeing, hey, you can work on your dream even with all of the things against you, even at a young age, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. can still work towards it. Mm. Okay. So in a way, you guys are encouraging these kids, but in the same time, also encouraging yourself to do something better and have an impact, yeah. not just on yourself, on them, but on the whole world that what you're mm-hmm. doing. So I salute you guys. I mean, you have been um, doing this even though for a year, but um, it seems like it's a pretty huge hit yeah, for your community. You made something out of yourself. So especially doing this at a very early age, I think when I can remember it during at your age, I think it was just like playing around with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of doing these kind of stuff. So, uh, hebat banget ya anak-anak ini dalam usia yang sangat-sangat muda, tapi mereka sudah mempunyai hati yang begitu mulia. Ha, mereka mempunyai kegiatan yang begitu hebat karena mereka ini membantu anak-anak yang um, terkena kanker gitu. Mereka ingin melihat potensi mereka itu bisa uh, dimaksimalkan dan mereka bisa meng, apa ya mencapai impiannya gitu jadi melalui usaha-usaha yang mereka lakukan mereka berharap semua impian mereka itu bisa tercapai dan kanker bukanlah halangan gitu ya so um, this is going we're we're airing this um, during the end of this year so this is going to be on in December So since it's the end of the new year, it's Christmas as well. What would you like to say to all of these kids and to friends of Yeka Ai? 
Merry Christmas and um, continue to help serving Ekai and I hope that next year we'll be able to keep doing what we're doing and that the kids will continue to be happy. Amen to that. To what about you, Kath? Yeah, again, Merry Christmas. This year, hopefully our project will be bigger than last year. Mm -hmm. We're able to impact more kids. We're able to get more donors. We're able to just improve from last year. And yeah, I think we're already working towards that. Okay, thank you both so much. God bless you both with what you do and what you have uh, these impacts towards others. Um, so Yeka, it really appreciates all the things that you have done collaborating for us and how you can bring back their smile. You know, karena yang namanya kanker itu, um, I also have a history with family with cancer. Mm. And it's not easy having someone member of your family has cancer. So, I, you know, what you guys are doing is really, 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 really great. And it really supports them mentally. Because when you have cancer, it's just not about the physical, about the health itself, but about the emotionally, about the social impact that it has on the whole family, emotionally, financially. So thank you, thank you, thank you all so much to your friends as well. Jadi memang ini adalah anak-anak um, yang hebat dalam usia yang begitu dini. Mereka masih, um, how old? Lima belas? Enam belas. Enam belas, ya. Oh, 14. Dia baru 14 <laughs> tahun. Tapi mereka sudah melakukan sebuah kegiatan yang luar biasa yang dampaknya ini adalah untuk membantu orang lain. And I also wish you both that whatever your dreams are, that you may achieve it in the future. And good luck on your studies. <laughs> Dan kalau misalnya mau bantu ya dengan kegiatan-kegiatan mereka, bisa juga follow Instagramnya mereka itu adalah neighbors. Jkt. Ya. Neighbors. Jkt ya. Neighbors. Jakarta. Oh ya itu. One more thing. Why do you call it neighbors? Why neighbors? Okay. So there's a story. Um, it's from a Bible verse. It says, mm -hmm. "Love your neighbor as yourself." Ah, okay. that's where we got the name because we wanted to treat everyone the same. Mm -hmm. Love your neighbors as yourself. That's mm -hmm. why we are their neighbors. We're the ones that providing for them. Ah, okay. So that's why. That's one question that I forgot to ask, and now I got the answer. <laughs> Well, good luck for Neighbors Jakarta, for Neighbors <laughs> and all of your activity, the upcoming. So, what's your upcoming uh, activity for Yeka We have. We're, we're yeah. planning to do our Christmas gift giving event again. Oh, same like last yeah. year. Okay, so it's um. So how do if we wanna donate? How what do we do? Um, on our Instagram, we're going to be posting like information about it soon. You can just like DM us if you want to mm. give gifts to a kids and we'll give you like um, their name and like something on their wish list so the gift is a bit more personalized. Mm. And then like you can send the gift to our school lobby and then we will send it over to Yakai once the gifts are collected. Okay. So, but uh, the most important thing is the personal note. Mm -hmm. That is the the difference that you guys made to um, for this program and towards this kid. So once again, thank you so much. Dan dengan demikian, begitulah obrolan saya dengan Tedra dan juga Kenneth, dua anak muda yang sudah melakukan sebuah kegiatan yang luar biasa. Mereka ini adalah anak-anak remaja yang hebat. Makanya kami undang di acara podcast Saya Hebat. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan acara podcast Saya Hebat. Saya Arleta Dani Soro. Dan kita ketemu lagi di podcast Saya Hebat dengan tamu-tamu hebat lainnya. Bye.